Hi, I've got to test some uh, solar charge controllers today and uh, I thought I would just uh, do a short review to show you how these work. These are very basic 12 or 24 volts solar charge controller that uh, you see on the internet on uh, Amazon or eBay. This one is 30 amp. 12 or 24 volts and this one is 20 amp 12 or 24 volts and uh, I also have this one very basic uh, controller it's also 12 or 24 volts and this one is 20 amp and first let's go with this one uh, this is very basic charge controller this is 20 amp and it runs on either a 12 volt or 24 volt system. It's got three LED, so when you hook up your batteries, it will light up and show you the state of charge of the battery. So, three LED means full charge, two LED means almost full, and one LED is mean it's low. But uh, for this one here, it's uh, Usually, 2 LED means full when you're not charging, meaning when the solar panel is not connected. Uh, so I use these a lot and uh, it's very good. So let's hook up my solar panel. Alright, so as you can see, when I hook up my solar panel, this light turns green. So it shows charging my battery and um, when the battery is full, uh, this light will blink rapidly. So it's that's when the battery is full and it will trickle charge the battery. And this light here is a load light. It's always on, it's always green, I don't know why. I've used quite a few of these before and it's always like that. Even though I'm not connected to any load, as you can see here, there are no load, but uh, the light is always green. And uh, overall, this is very good. I mean, very basic, but uh, good charge controller. It's cheap. And it's very durable. I've used this particular one here for over five years and never had any problem with it. And next is my 30 amp charge controller. And this one, uh, show you the, the input where you insert the wire. This wire coming from solar panel. I only have one panel so I can use thinner wire and uh, this is size 14 and it just barely fit in there. I've got size 10 here going to my battery and it does not fit in here and uh, that's not good because for a 30 amp controller it has to be able to accommodate size 10 wire because size 10 is rated at 30 amp okay as a comparison let me show you this one here this one here is rated at 20 amp and the the input jack here is bigger it's a lot bigger than the 30 amp controller That and that. So this is 30 amp up here. This is 20 amp controller. As you can see, the 20 amp got much bigger input hole than the 30 amp, which is weird. I mean, the 30 amp has to accommodate bigger wires, but uh, not in this case. So this cheap controller 
probably is not 30 amp as it uh, claim to be and uh, I've got to have a uh, smaller wire to uh, install in here all right so I've just uh, connected my battery and uh, my battery is full so we got a green light here and uh, according to the manual when your battery is low it will turn yellow and then this light here is the solar light I've not connected my solar panel yet and let's do it right now right, it's right here by the way so Okay, it's connected. As you can see, this light turns green. So, this is charging my battery. This light here is the load light. And uh, it will lit up when there is a load. I don't really use the load often because it's 12 volts. I use all my loads on an inverter. So I don't really need a 12 volt load, or I just connect directly to my battery. So so 12 volt. So there's no point to use this load. Uh, the only thing is it's got circuitry protected here, so it protect your battery from going too low when you connect your load here. This screen here has got a single digit LED. And it will show the, uh, it's actually a timer. So when you connect your load, it will turn on your lights at night. And you can adjust how long you run your light by adjusting this number right here. But uh, that's all about it. It doesn't show your battery voltage. It only shows the amount of time your load is on. But that's it. This shows your battery state of charge. This light in the middle. It only is either green or yellow. That's it. And uh, this 30 amp controller, I'm not sure if it's, uh, it is what it claimed to be for a 30 amp controller. I can barely fit size 14 wire in here. It barely fits in here. So that would tell me something because size 14 limit is much less than 30 amp. And I cannot fit in my size 10 wire which is ready at 30 amp. Uh, so I can never use up to 30 amp because this wire is too skinny to run on 30 amp. The back of the controller is uh, black but it's not plastic it's painted metal. It's actually metal but it's painted black. It uh, acts as a heat sink but uh, other than that it's just a basic controller which doesn't do what it claim to do and I cannot use up to its full potential so uh, I'm not sure how good this is though nice right, and uh, finally let's take a look at this 20 amp charge controller with the LCD screen and uh, as you can see I can connect my number 10 wire into this uh, connector here inside here even though it's only a 20 amp rated 20 amp charge controller and that nice thing about this controller it's got an LCD screen and a couple of USB ports this screen will show your current battery voltage and uh, that's the difference between this and the other uh, controller and uh, this way you know exactly 
uh, what voltage your battery is at any time and uh, it's got a couple of USB ports I'm gonna plug it in and uh, see if we can charge my phone okay plugged in As you can see, it's charging my phone right now. But even though my phone is 100% full, but when I plug it in, it will charge my phone. And uh, I try the other USB port, and it also works. So you can use both USB ports at the same time. And uh, you can even use this when the sun is down. The solar panel is currently not connected. You can see in this screen, it's not currently connected, and um, it's still charging my phone. All right, time to uh, hook up the solar panel and see what's up. All right, so my solar panel is connected. As you can see, the solar icon, solar panel icon, is on with the sun on the left and the arrow is blinking so it's charging my battery right now this controller is very nice in that you can adjust the charging voltage uh, you can go to the menu display so press this menu button on the left here okay and you can adjust the float charging voltage and uh, this is good because you can charge different kind of battery like flooded lead acid battery or uh, absorbed glass mats battery so that's pretty good because they are they require different charging voltage so press and let me see press and hold this button for a few seconds and now you can adjust the charging voltage so go up and go up or down so for flooded lead acid battery it's 13.7 volt float voltage so I'm gonna set at 13.7 and press and hold until it stops so now it's at 13.7 because my battery is a regular flooded lead acid battery and next is the this is the um, what it's called the discharge reconnect so it will reconnect the uh, the load when uh, the battery is uh, starting to charge up this is the disconnect uh, discharge so this will prevent the battery from being discharged too much so it's at 10 point 10.7 volts 24 hour to the load that means load is always on and you can adjust this and uh, you can adjust how long to run your load in this case your light and uh, it will automatically turn on uh, at night and then will automatically turn off when the sun uh, uh, come down I mean when the when the sun rises so uh, this is very good there is uh, there are many uh, options that you can adjust and it's got a nice LCD screen so that's very nice I really like it and on the back of the charge controller there is uh, a metal piece and at, that's the, uh, the heat sink for the controller so that's not bad so overall this is very basic but uh, is the best controller in the three and uh, this is my favorite it's inexpensive it's pretty cheap but it's got a lot of function and you can adjust a lot of things and the nice nicest thing it's got USB port so it's very convenient and you can charge your phone 
with the USB even when the the sun goes down as long as you're connected to the uh, the battery and you got power to the, uh, the charge controller you can charge your phone your iPad or whatever by the uh, USB port and uh, I guess uh, that's all I have for now until next time and thank you for watching